This is a basic problem in which we learn how to identify force vectors and project them along the axis. The problem involves a color which can slide freely along a vertical cylindrical bar and the color is held in position by a cable. Our task is to determine the tension in this cable. We begin, as usual, with drawing the free body diagram, and in this case, of course, it's the color, and it is constrained by the cable. The force T is directed along the cable so that it produces tension in the cable, the weight, and the normal force. The normal force is restricted to being in a horizontal plane. Its orientation within the plane is not specified yet. So the force equilibrium equation simply states that sum of the forces, n, w, and t is equal to zero. Here I use the bold face letters to emphasize that I'm adding vectors rather than any projections. The natural equation for this problem is to sum the forces along the y-axis. The reason is because n is a horizontal force. So sum of the forces along the y-axis will relate t and w and will not engage n, so that we get one equation for one unknown. This is done by taking the dot product between the sum and the unit vector j along the y-axis. As a result of expanding this equation, we obtain that n dot j is equal to zero because n and j are perpendicular to each other. w dot j is equal to minus w because the way w is direct along negative j and finally we represent the force t as its magnitude times its unit vector dotted with j as a result we obtain the symbolic answer for the tension in the cable which tells us that the only thing we are left to determine is the dot product between E, the unit vector of the tension force T, and J. To carry out this task, I first of all identify the vector E as the unit vector of the force or the unit vector of the vector AB, which represents the cable. To calculate the vector AB, I will subtract from the coordinates of the terminal point B the coordinates of the origin A. The coordinates of B are 0, 20, and 3. And the coordinates of A are calculated as follows. The x-coordinate is 4. The y-coordinate is 8, and the z-coordinate is 0, simply because the point A is located in the xy plane. As a result, we obtain this expression for the vector AB. Now, we find the magnitude of AB by simply taking squares of the projections and adding them together, and we obtain that the length of AB, which is also the length of the cable, is equal to 13 centimeters. Now we take the vector AB, divide by its magnitude, and as a result, we obtain the unit vector E. The dot product E dot J simply takes the y projection of the vector e and it is 12 over 13 
And now we can go back and calculate T and obtain 1.3 newtons. An alternative way of solving this problem is purely geometric without actually introducing any coordinates. What I would like to do, I would like to take the point B and draw a line parallel to the XZ plane or a horizontal line till I connect B and C so that I form the triangle A, B and C. The important angle is in this triangle is at A, and I denote this angle by theta. And the reason this angle is important is because when I write down some of the forces on Y, the force along AB has to be multiplied by cos theta. And this will give me the equation of interest. To determine the angle theta, I begin with observing that the length AC is simply 12 centimeters because it is 20 minus 8. Next, I would like to project the points B and C all the way down to the XC plane so that I have their images B tilde and C tilde. And these images live in the XZ plane. And what is clear is that there is a triangle B tilde O C tilde. This is a right angle triangle with the edges 3 and 4. And therefore, I know that the length B tilde C tilde is equal to 5 centimeters. And then I can claim that the length BC is also equal to 5 centimeters. Now I have a right angle triangle. I know the edges. Of course, I can use the Pythagoras theorem to find the hypotenuse, which is 13 centimeters. And this allows me to determine the angle theta, or even better, cos, cos theta. And write down the equilibrium equation. Sum of the force on y is equal to t cos theta minus w, and of course this will give me the value of t equal to 1.3 newton. Thank you.